All right then, so what if I want to now allow users to delete these blogs by clicking on a button or something like that? Well, first of all, we need a button inside the blog list component for each blog that we output. So let's do that below the author. I'm gonna come down here and create a button and I'm gonna say in here, delete blog. And we need to give this a click event handler. So on click, and that's gonna be equal to a function. Now, I'm gonna wrap this inside an anonymous function so that we can pass an argument into our custom function because we need to pass in eventually the ID of the blog that we want to delete so that we can find it in the array and delete it. So, I'm gonna call this function handle delete and I'll make it in a second and we pass in the blog.id. Remember, we have access to the blog and the ID property is on the blog. So we're passing that as an argument into this handle delete function. So in here, we know which blog to delete. All right then. So we need to create that function now, but where do we create it? Because if we were to do it in here, let me say const handle delete and set it equal to a function, we take in the ID parameter and in here we want to delete that blog with that ID from the blog data. Now the data, is initialized right here. This is where the state is. And we don't want to directly edit the blog's prop. We shouldn't do that. Instead, what we need to do is use this method inside this component to update the state. That's what we need to do. So it's not a good idea to have this function defined here to edit the data. Instead, what we want to do is have it defined inside the home component so we can interact with the data directly. And then what we can do is pass this through as a prop. So I could say down here, create a prop called handle delete and set it equal to the handle delete function. And then over here, we can accept that function as a prop. And we can do this, we can pass in functions as props. So now what happens is we're invoking this function, which is defined inside the parent home component, and it's gonna invoke this right here. And then inside this function, inside this component, I can use this function right here to update the state, and we can remove the blog with this ID. So the way we're gonna do this is, again, by using the filter method, much like we saw in the last video. And I'm gonna create a constant in here called new blogs to store the filtered array temporarily. And I'm gonna take the current blogs and I'm gonna use the filter method. And by the way, this doesn't change the original data. It doesn't mutate it. That remains unchanged. All it does is return a new array, a new filtered array based on this array right here. So this filter method, like before, fires a function for each blog, and each time around we take in that blog as an argument. And we want to return either true or false here. True if the ID doesn't match this because we want to keep that in the array and false if the ID does match this because then we want to remove that blog from the array, okay? Because this is the ID of the blog we want to remove. All right then, so I'm gonna say blog.id, which is the ID of the blog we're iterating, is then not equal to the ID. So this is gonna be true if the ID of the blog doesn't match this and so it remains in the array and it's gonna be false if the ID of the blog does match this and it's filtered out of the array. And then that new array is stored in new blogs. So then what we want to do is use this function to say, look, the new value of this should be new blogs. So let's do that. I'm gonna say set blogs and then I'm gonna pass in the new blogs value and I'm gonna save this. So now fingers crossed, this should all work. I'm gonna delete this one and it's removed. I'm gonna delete this one and it's removed. Awesome, so this works. Now, if we refresh, we get all of that data back because remember, if we're refreshing, we're rerunning the code and it resets the state back to its initial value. But that, my friends, is how we can pass functions into other components as props.